I had this passion for shoes since high school. The first time uh, I saw a pair of platforms back in the 70s, I just thought they were a piece of art. And it was just like, my God, all the things you could do with that. And I started sketching, but it never seemed like a, a career choice. You know, coming from a blue collar background, it was like, it's like yeah. how do you become a shoe designer? When I got out of college, I kind of was looking for a secure job. I ended up being a telephone repairman. You keep on changing jobs and you just can't find one that was at all fulfilling. Just doing a kind of job like that that isn't creative can really kind of suck the life out of you. Getting up and going to work was a drag. It was nothing to look forward to and I looked forward to going home every day. I drew that whole time. I drew on the back of my work orders, on envelopes, on napkins, anything, all the time. Then at 50, I got diagnosed with cancer. It kind of changes your attitude about things. And my biggest regret, I think, would have been not doing shoes. This passion never faded. Like I needed to find some fulfillment and chase this dream I've had. So I started looking into it and I ended up applying to Halimoda, which is in Florence, Italy. It's one of the top 10 fashion schools in the world. And they accepted me. I got to the school on orientation day and I'm just like, oh my God, I, I, I don't belong here. Not only did he belong there, he eventually graduated near the top of his class. And Chris Donovan joins us now from his shoe design studio in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Chris, I see all, let me tell you, your shoes are so fly. They are amazing. <laughs> they are, I can, I bow to your greatness. Um, you talked about getting to Italy and we condensed that story because it wasn't just smooth sailing. When you got there, your visa was rejected because they thought you were too old to be in the program. Is that the case? Um, I, I ran into, uh, when I, they, they didn't mind my age. Uh, the problem was when I first went in to get a visa to go to school, um, the people at the, the uh, consulate in Boston, the Italian consulate said I was too old to get a student visa. Mm. Um, it took like five trips, to, uh, to the consulate to get them to okay it. And, and once I got to school, they, they were, uh, a little surprised by my age. Uh, they never had anybody as old as I was in the program. How old were you at the time? 55. Wow. And it was one of these things where I didn't see myself that way. Uh, uh, as I a 50 year old woman, I understand what you are saying. <laughs> like, I didn't see myself that way. It's like, wait a minute, what do you mean 50 years old? But yeah, 55, but that's not how you felt about life. And that's not how you saw yourself. And I imagine largely because, as you pointed out, that cancer diagnosis really had changed you. You were preparing yourself now to live life and not count numbers of years. Exactly. Um, a lot of the things that Bethany said uh, uh, really ring true. Um, it's, it's not about uh, the money, it's about the passion. Mm -hmm. And I had this passion for 35 years. And uh, if I didn't do it, I think the regret would have been awful. You know, it is, it, it, I, I, absolutely, because that's the thing, you, we're talking about risks and regret and you don't want it. Now, I know that your latest collection is inspired by paper airplanes. So they're very aerodynamic. They are very current and in season. Here's the deal. I was supposed to wear a pair of your shoes. They are right here. I'm a sharing kind of gal because I know I'm going to get my pair on my own, but I know you love sharing, and we have something for our audience that's pretty good. We're giving away a pair of Chris's shoes to someone in our virtual audience. They're getting their own pair of $465 shoes. I have a bowl here, Chris. I'm going to pull it out. But this blue pair here... I, you know, oh my gosh, I can't have a good shoe this close to me and I'm not wearing it. And it's rude to show my feet, so don't show my bare feet on air. But we got the shoes on, here we go. Because these are too cute to walk on by, as they say. Um, here we go, I've got them on. I don't have a petty, don't get that close. Drum roll, please. Somebody in our audience is going home with one of Chris's collections this new season. Eddie and Shrek. 
Tell her? I don't know. This is live TV. So, Eddie, you got the shoes. You're in the virtual audience. You can wear them or give them away. Just know that they are amazing. Congratulations, Eddie. Congratulations, Chris. Let me tell you something. Following that dream, keeping your focus has paid off. I would not say these shoes are beautiful if they were not. They are super duper fly. And thank you for the ones I have on my feet. And thank you for hooking up the audience. Take care and best of luck. Thank you, Tamara. I'm so proud Bye -bye. of you. And give your husband my best as well. So happy for you.